Hello, I'm Boris Vensel, and I'm going to talk to you about big data and IoT. So I'm sorry I cannot be present in person for this presentation. So instead, we're going to do it here from my office. And uh, let's get started. So big data, IoT, the technology is here. It's new, it's exciting, it opens new horizon. But the question is, are we ready for it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a fast trip to discover how big data is and will impact our industry in a very big way, as you will see. And you'll discover how challenging it is for us to drive change, uh, to take us into the future thanks to these new technologies, but also all the promises that are held with it. So now let's get started. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about myself. So I'm Boris Wenzel. Uh, I'm the managing director of Terminal Link. Terminal Link is a joint venture between CMH CZM Group from France and China Merchant Port Holdings. Terminal Link operates 21 terminals today, soon 23, uh, representing about 25 million TU of uh, throughput. We are present in 16 countries. Uh, so it makes us uh, one of the leading port operators in, in the world. Besides that, I'm also the president of TIC 4.0. TIC 4.0, which stands for Terminal Industry Committee 4.0, is an association we have created last year to, to promote and elaborate the definition of standards for our industry. These standards are important because they are the key for our, our industry to fully embrace the benefits of the fourth industrial revolution. And besides that, uh, as Terminal Link and uh, uh, through our association TIC, we are the sponsor of a European project called iTerminals 4.0. And the objective of this project is, is to actually put into practice the standards which we are defining in TIC 4.0 and to demonstrate the profitability of the digitalization of the port industry. So now I'm going to tell you a bit more about big data. So big data and Internet of Things are technologies that have been around for a while, but they are not yet implemented in our industry. The implementation of these, of these technologies will have uh, as a benefit, the creation of very important tools. Uh, one of them is for uh, having the ability to have virtual objects. Virtual objects are the digital representation of any process, device, equipment that forms part of a container terminal. And the digital platform is a platform which allows you to collect millions of daily data registers uh, that are generated by the different virtual objects that form part of the terminal. So thanks to these new tools, you are able to improve two fundamental solutions. One is continuous improvement. Every, every terminal today, of course, usually has a practice of continuous improvement. However, this is based on very limited data sets. Continuous improvement based on the new level which is created by, by big data and Internet of Things allows you to actually go much deeper into the improvement of your processes, optimizing uh, your productivity, your cost, for example. And the second benefit is on process automation. Because once you have digitized everything in the terminal, you are able to operate a much smoother transition towards automation. And now I will show you a practical application in the container terminal of big data and IoT technology. So this is IoT and big data in a terminal environment. And what does this theory mean in the container terminal environment? Well, there are three levels of data. The first level, which is in the first column, is the raw data. IoT could collect an unlimited amount of data from the machines. In our case, the most relevant signals are collected every second. The big data tools can manage, aggregate, and represent this huge amount of information in a very simple way. We can group the data per time, per device, per time and device, per sensor, all of that just in real time, and we can also aggregate all of them in real time as well. The second level of data, which is also in the second column, is move data. The basic unit of our business is the move. So the minimum representation of any KPIs for our business should be by move. We can use the raw data to create hundreds of KPIs per move, adding also lots of metadata to link different move registers, such as machine, driver, vessel visit, container number, etc. And the third uh, uh, level of data is the global KPI. This is for a high level global KPIs. The granular per move KPIs allow us to aggregate the information in a way, but not only. 
The relationship between them, thanks to the added metadata, let us create new high-level KPIs, such as a global efficiency measurement for the terminal, or a bottleneck efficiency that otherwise would be impossible to calculate. The most exciting aspect of this powerful tool is that it allows us to see a huge amount of data in real time. It can be a few minutes of aggregation, so like near real time, from anything from that to days, months, weeks, or even years, all in the same tool. And most importantly is the actualization will also be represented on the same dashboard in real time. In fact, all these concepts and features I have been talking about, this is not a theory. In fact, it's a reality at our Malta Freeport Terminal facility, which is a major transshipment hub in the Mediterranean Sea. Thanks to the IoT technology, real-time data with a latency of about two seconds for raw data and eight seconds for fusion data, almost all the equipment on the terminal. All the data is then stored without limit, thanks to big data technology, on the digital platform. So now, the raw data is very easily accessible. In fact, it's much more easily accessible than on a classical database. Move data, status, spreader, hoist, trolley, engines, timers, hundreds of timers actually, power, energy, almost any single interesting value is available. The business intelligence tool allows us to represent the raw data in a graphical friendly way across time and or buckets per any metadata you can think of. Working, driving, idle status, any timers you want, eco-consumption status, loads, any kind of counters like moves, boxes, cycles, costs. The dashboards regroup all these visualizations on one page, so you can see all this data together, harmonized and synchronized in real time. Now the data is available and ready to use for any service, such as a cloud toss, which you can deploy then at minimal cost. Smart plugins can then also be used and enhanced with real data at, with a minimum effort. So we have already at this stage integrated our digital platform with several manufacturers. Conicrain, ZPMC, for example, are already done and others such as Heister and Kalmar are in progress and will very soon be fully connected with the new OpenTIC 4.0 protocols. But if the technology is available, why don't we have this implemented in every terminal yet? Well, the translation of the reality into numbers is not so easy. All the devices must speak exactly the same language, and the reality itself is not so complex that you need a very complex and sophisticated language to represent it. The idea is simple. Humans and virtual objects need to speak a language that is, they both understand. A language as complex and as complete as the human language, but that can be, at the same time, understood by the humans and machines. The combination of different attributes of data such as the header, the concept, must strictly define the value it represents without any ambiguity. And this is the job we're doing at our TIC 4.0 association. So now we're using two kinds of registers. The instantaneous register that represents a snapshot of reality and the closed register that represents a reality during a period of time. Today, the instantaneous register has more than 200 attributes and very soon it will be 400. The closed register has more than 500, and very soon it will be more than 1,000. The reality requires a lot of data to be presented properly. This adds a lot of complexity to the end user if you really want to translate the reality into a digital form. To monitor a terminal, you need a lot of IoT devices that each will send millions of messages with hundreds of data attributes per message every second. A very powerful platform is therefore required to process all this data in real time. The only way to compute such huge amount of information is with multiple nodes, meaning computers, working together. Even when all the information is already processed, achieving a human-friendly representation of all this huge amount of data is really a challenge for most people. Every single dashboard not only represents single KPIs, but also group KPIs, such as per concept, machine, driver, vessel, etc. Also tendencies, statistics, heat maps, rankings, etc. It is great because this gives you all the visibility of the concept across the equipment's operation, 
time and place, but at the same time, it requires another level of understanding than we are used to. So IoT and big data are key elements to improve efficiency, but not only. Today, big data is not able to investigate root causes of the problems or to apply corrective actions to the root causes. So at this stage, human intervention is still required to evaluate and resolve problems, and especially if we're talking about complex problems. So big data makes especially sense for the resolution of complex problems, because complex problems have complex root causes, and complex root causes have a lot of dependencies on other factors, which the human cannot mitigate. So the reality is complex. And for a human to look at the reality through numbers is even more difficult. As humans, we are limited. We've just passed the singularity where data power has overpassed our intellectual level. And the percent, percentage of people that cannot understand big data today is already quite high. It is obvious that big data technology is not a plug and play software, though most people would actually think so. As the language is new, the perspective and the point of view of the reality is completely new for most of the users. Managers in the container business will have to learn how to read and write in a completely new language in order to make, take the full advantage of these tools. As humans, we are so proud of ourselves that we really think we are better than any machine database algorithm or program, but that's not the case anymore. Big data knows more of you than you know yourself. So anyone with access to the data and able to interpret the data will have more knowledge than yourself. That means that not anymore the control of information will be under one person, but it could be accessible to everybody from a low level to the board of directors. The control of information is power. So some managers will lose their power because it's only based on the information they have and not on their added value. And this is really scary for a lot of powerful people. Now, data is also not just a, a solution, it is just a tool. The only direct benefit of big data is the pressure it creates over everybody, that they are data, there is data that registers and measures everything they do or their performance. Because when we feel we are observed, we try to do our best. But to get other benefits, we need to take actions. And big data is itself is not going to resolve the problems. So, in conclusion, the questions are, are we going to be able to transform our industry with all the difficulty it faces and all the resistance we are going to encounter? And is it all worth the effort and investment? Well, the answer is, it's up to you. But if your competitors make use of these new tools and you don't, then the question is, will you remain competitive? So thank you very much. And I will be happy to take questions that you can send to me by email. You have my details on the last slide of this presentation. Thank you.